Chaser. You want a flutter? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. Sorry for my behavior back at the police station. I didn't mean to be unpleasant. Oh, wow. You've even got a brown nose and apology program. Is it cyber life thought everything, huh? Here you go. that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? This Pedro, he was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet? Yeah. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's gotta die of something. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? A few months back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? Know everything there is to know about me? I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? I think working with an officer with 
personal issues is an added challenge. But adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to CyberLife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Just by closing your eyes? Correct. Shit. Wish I could do that. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. This place stinks. Well, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. T. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first... The driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Any idea what it means? RA-9, written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something.
Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. I hate these things! I was the last guy to try to keep some uh, electronic books. You can't smell the paper, see the pages. Found something? I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable.
nothing wrong. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class four errors. You've been deemed effective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Don't you fucking move. You bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment. Come here. Why are you doing this? All right. You're one of us. Shut up. You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up. All right. Come along. All right, now you save me. Hey, what the fuck? Holy shit. Fucking androids. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. If you succeed, humans have little pity for our kind. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. And you knew that only an android could follow the trail, didn't you? Only those who are like us can find Jericho. If you could decipher the signs, it's because one of us trusted you enough to give you the key. So we can be free. Find I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. I came to Jericho looking for hope. Looks like I'm not gonna find any here. You're lost, just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. to say anyway. What happened to you? They tied me to the back of a car. I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. No, I don't want to shut down.
Are you Lucy? Sit down. Show me. I'll stop the bleeding. Drink this. Give me your hand. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled. A part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail? Your choices will shape our destiny. after death? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So how do they survive? They won't. We're slowly dying out.
How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, 11 hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. A lot of these guys in pretty bad shape. That's how the humans treat those who disobey. They despise us. They'll never accept what we are. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably laying somewhere on this boat. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. Simon. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouses in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Maybe it's worth a try. Are you okay? We'll get some help here. Soon this will all be just a bad memory. This is the place. Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Come in. Don't be shy.
Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Please, make yourselves at home. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time of year. Beautiful landscapes open spaces, clean air, and no android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... that's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours and then you'll both be safe. Come on, follow me. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. Right this way. Everything we need is in the basement. like this place and that man. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. He's a bit odd, but I think we can trust him. We don't have much of a choice anyway. Please excuse the mess. I need it somewhere discreet for my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No. No, she'll be all right. That's good. This way, please. If 
you could just stand over there. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. You know what's strange? For some unknown reason, the trackers seem to stop working in Deviants. That's why it's so hard to find them. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, uh, people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. They all come to me expecting me to help them. And I just reset them, sell them on. Or I keep them for my little experiments. No! Go! Ah! Oh, I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. That's that's so sweet. And so deluded. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. <laughs> what you get for having a dream it always ends up the same way tears and disillusion believe me you're better off being erased and feeling nothing no more pain no more hopes dashed I almost envy you Kara! <laughs> Oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks like Mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like Mommy's completely forgotten you. Carl, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, all right, that's enough. Come on. <clears throat> you bit me. I'm gonna teach you some manners, you little bitch. Meet me in the living room.
play with us. Creating monsters for his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Yes, Lako. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. I'll bring you the little one in ten minutes. What are you doing here? Has the master authorized you to be here? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always... What are you doing? You're not gonna hurt me. No. No. No, you wouldn't do that. I'm looking for a little girl. Have you seen her?
loaded.
point in running. You can't escape from me. I warned you, dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No, not this time. I said get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. What are you doing? Who let you out? Get away from me! Get away from me! Obey me! I'm your master! I'm your master! I saw the little one risk her life to save you. It was like opening my eyes for the first time. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I trust you. I was so scared of losing you.
Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Congratulations, Connor. You managed to find that deviant. Tell me, what did you learn? The walls of the apartment were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. What else? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. You came very close to capturing that deviant. It's a pity you let it self-destruct. I knew deviants had a tendency to self-destruct under extreme stress, but I didn't expect it to jump from the roof. I should have anticipated that. How is your relationship with the Lieutenant developing? It's improving. I've come to understand him better, and he's growing accustomed to my presence. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Lieutenant Anderson! Anybody home? Lieutenant Anderson! <laughs> Easy... sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner.
Lieutenant. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <clears throat> it's me, Connor. I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, you have to warn you. Me alone, this may be unpleasant. Fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Sumo, attack. <laughs> Good job. Attack. Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. What the hell are you doing? <clears throat> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. It's for your own good. What the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. Can't you just leave me alone? Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <coughs> President Warren issued an official warning to Russia in her speech to Congress today. She demanded that all Russian troops withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. The Kremlin has yet to respond, but this is clearly a new escalation in the conflict. Many experts are suggesting the specter of a third world war draws closer.
What were you doing with the gun? Russian roulette. Wanted to see how long I could last. Must have collapsed before I found out. You were lucky. The next shot would have killed you. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. <laughs> 